and welcome to the Hurricane Book Club 2019. I'm Sophie Jonathan, an editor at Picador, and uh, a book I have chosen uh, for the book club is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Burial Rites is set in Northern Iceland in 1829, and it tells the story of Agnes Magnus Dottir, who has been condemned to death for the murder of her lover. Now, because of the lack of prisons in Iceland, Agnes is sent to live out her final months on the farm of Di District Officer John Johnson and his wife and uh, their two daughters. Needless to say, the family is horrified to have a convicted murderer in their midst and they avoid her at all costs. Really, only, the only person who will speak to Agnes or even try to understand her is the young priest, Toti, who is appointed as her spiritual advisor in the months leading up to her death. But then, of course, the year progresses and in the harsh Icelandic climate, the the demands of that climate force the uh, households to live side by side, to work side by side. And as Agnes's story begins to emerge, there is this terrible realisation that all is not as the family had assumed. So Burial Rites is based on actual events. Agnes Magnus Dottir was the last person to be beheaded in Iceland over 150 years ago. Um, and in this book, Hannah Kent is exploring who the real woman behind the sort of mythologised monster, who she might have been. It's a book that interrogates the, the stories we believe and the ways we interpret what we're told. And it asks what happens when one person's life is entirely dependent on the stories told by other people. There are two reasons I think that I really love this book. Firstly, it is because it is a novel about stories. Iceland is a place of sagas and myths. And what Hannah Kent does in this book is she she takes the facts that she could find out about Agnes, which were few and far between. Agnes was a servant. She was convicted for the murder of two men and one of them was her employer. It's also um, been documented that Agnes was clearly very intelligent. And so what Hannah does is that she tries to find the real humanity, the ambiguity behind the person that was written into Icelandic history. Icelandic myth and law speaks about Agnes as this monstrous woman and Hannah wants to, in burial rites, she wants to sort of interrogate why, as women, you are either angelic or demonic. There was never any in between and especially that was especially the case for intelligent women. And so Hannah is giving Agnes the opportunity to tell her own story again. And the second reason I think I really love this book is the setting. There's no doubt about it that Iceland is a real character in this novel. Um, in fact, Hannah Kent calls it her dark love letter to Iceland. There's no way this book could be set anywhere else. This is a, a harsh landscape which has formed the characters in the novel. And in each of them you see who they have become in order to survive Iceland's winds and seas and that incredible cold and the lack of light. So that's burial rights.